Neutral dogs and people are your friends. This is huge as well, right? There is nothing more valuable than a good neutral dog. And what I mean by a neutral dog is a dog that is not interested in your dog, is not afraid of your dog, won't aggress towards your dog, won't react if your dog reacts, is just really chill. Like, it looks at your dog as a piece of furniture. As dog trainers, cultivate this. If you, every dog trainer should have one as their own dog to work around clients' dogs and reactive dogs. The best thing, they, they, I, it's, it still flabbergasts me, but they, they have like reactive dog classes. There are lots of trainers that run these group classes for reactive dogs and they lump all, you know, I got kicked out of regular class and got put in the reactive dog class and that's the worst possible thing you can have happen, right? Put all the reactive dogs in together, right? So this one's freaking out and as soon as this one freaks out, this one freaks out back and it's a feedback loop. What you want is you want to stick the reactive dog in with a bunch of neutral dogs that don't even care that it exists and this dog's freaked out and goes, ah, and this dog sits there like, whatever, dude. And this dog, oh, oh, I guess there was nothing really to worry about there. And they settle down, and neutral dogs are fabulous. Neutral people are fabulous, too, because the general public sucks at this. If you want to be a help to your dog training fans, learn to ignore a dog. Like, ignore a dog in a natural way, though. So people, the general public can't ignore dogs. They're terrible at it. So if you say, ignore my dog, I'm training, they go, oh, what's up? Okay, I'm ignoring it. Like, like, I'm like, that's not really ignoring it. That's not helping at all. You're staring right at it. You're making all kinds of funny noises. Or they go like, okay. They get stiff and stop breathing. And the dog's like, the hell is wrong with you? So look, cultivate the skill of not actually it, paying attention to a dog. Pretend that they're not there. Go about your business like you would. I'm having a conversation with you. I'm standing here. I'm moving normally. Your dog's right there. Your dog doesn't exist to me, but I act like I normally act. That's really useful. Cultivate uh, your trainer friends. If we're working with fearful or aggressive dogs, super useful skill. I can stand right next to a dog that bites people all the time, and if I ignore the dog and act natural, the dog's looking at me like, oh, okay, oh, no, nothing's happening. He's not paying any attention to me. No energy there, and he'll be fine. I work around that kind of dog all the time and you're, you're fine. As soon as you go, hey, and you start looking at them, it's okay, but oh, now you're in trouble, right? You put your energy into that dog. And so one of the things, just like the neutral dog is really useful for the reactive dog, a neutral person is, and people are bad at it. So <laughs> cultivate that skill and you'll be, a, you'll be popular amongst your dog training friends.